Good afternoon, YouTube. So I finally finished testing uh, these battery packs that I built. So I've uh, been using pack one, two, three, and four as a 4S battery to power the iCharger balance charger. With that iCharger, I've been testing packs five through 10. So with these packs, I did my inside testing and at 3 amps I got these particular capacity readings anywhere from 32.5 up to 34.2 amp hours. Quite a few of them I did multiple tests at 3 amps or at 5 amps just to uh, get a feeling for how consistent things were. So I think I'm probably going to be using these 3 amp numbers for my baseline or my target capacity. Anyway, since I've finished testing packs 5 through 10, I now need to test packs 1 through 4. So what I did the other weekend was I pulled all 8 groups of cells out of the cell holders so I took packs one through four, which had been on the bottom half of the power shelf, and I moved those up to the top half. So I've got those in these upper four positions, just because they're easier to access up there. And also I have the BMS on the bottom four groups of cell holders. And then what I did to power the iCharger is I took the four closest in capacity packs out of these six and populated the first four cell holders with those four. And the ones I chose here, I had pack seven, which was the lowest, and pack eight, which was 400 milliamp hours higher. And then I have pack five, and then I have pack 10. So they're within about 800 milliamp hours of each other. So this is my first attempt at building a balance 4S pack. So the idea is I want to put my four closest matched packs into the four cell holders on the bottom of the power shelf and hook those up to the BMS board and then let the eye charger charge and discharge those four cells while I'm testing this P1 through 4. Ah, good morning YouTube. So down here is the eye charger on my power shelf and you can see it's just finished the fast charge FST. So I just finished up charging the bottom four packs. Or as I mentioned earlier in the video, I was going to swap cells around on my power shelf here. So this is pack one, two, three, and four that used to be on the bottom of the power shelf. I've now put them up on top. And then what I did was I took the four most equally balanced in capacity packs that I had from previous testing and I put those on the bottom of the power shelf and what I just finished doing was charging this pack which is number 10 and then I have pack 8 yeah so that's pack 7 and then pack 5 what I'm just finishing up is the top balancing of those four groups of cells so the idea is I did a fast charge on each group of cells separately and that took took me a couple of days so yeah we've had some cloudy rainy weather and that's kind of limited my solar solar panel output so I haven't had enough uh, excess power to charge the cells but anyway I did all of them separately so now I've got the eye charger is going to charge the entire 4S pack so that's the first thing I need to do this is the balance cable for the 4S pack on the bottom I'm going to plug that in and I'm going to switch over so there we go balance charge it says battery check so what I'm doing is a 10 amp balance charge 
It'll probably not go up to 10 amps because of the cell voltages. You can see we're pretty close to the maximum voltage. I'm doing 4 volts per cell. So anyway, I will uh, show you what this looks like when I get it all charged. Looks like we're nearing the end of the balance charge here. So what I did, as I mentioned earlier, I did a 10 amp balance charge after I did the four individual fast charge cycles. Then I did a 10 amp balance charge here until that finished and that put about two and a half amp hours in before it stopped. That terminates at one amp and then I followed that up with a two amp balance charge and you can see now that's been running five hours and 15 minutes and we put in 2.3 amp hours and you can see here now when those are blinking I guess those are the cells that are getting discharged so about 400 milliamps is going into the cells and then during the balance cycle they're discharging the over voltage cells at about 300 milliamps. Okay, let me swing down here. I hooked up an ammeter and you can see how it goes up to like 300 milliamps then drops down to zero up to 300 back down so right there we're balancing so we're down 50 then up to 300 so it's balancing again now it's charging balancing charging and then I think what they do is use the balance leads to discharge a couple of cells in the pack so you can see I just have the meter right around one of the incoming power or charging cables you can watch the display so there we're balancing two cells now just one cell, two cells. From what I've found, you need to make sure that the end of charging current, which is 10% of your starting current, is roughly on the order of the balancing current. So in this case, I'm doing a 2 amp charge and that'll go down to 0.2 amps and the balancing current is approximately 0.3 amps so this way the balancing current is about the same magnitude as the charging current so you can see we get about equal there's balancing charging balancing charging. So you can see it's alternating between the two. My next uh, step here is to measure the capacity on these top four groups of cells and then once I get that done I will uh, do an update video on this and let you know what the results are. And if you have any questions about that post up in the comment section below. I'll put a couple of videos over here on the side that you might be interested in. And as always, thanks for watching.